Good morning. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure it out. So it's been a minute or two months. <laughs> YOLO. And I thought I would just give you an update in the car. You know how I do it. We've pretty much had Christmas, New Year's, a new decade, a trip to Normanton with Tim and the boys to go visit Nonna and Grandad, which I got some footage of that. It was a good idea at the time to film our road trip because there was eight hours of driving and nothing really else to do. Other than that, I've just really not done much at all. And I've kind of been not in a negative headspace, not in a depressed situation, none of that. Everything's been really good mentally. But what I have uh, struggled with a lot is a uh, lack of energy. And I've really, really, really been struggling with fatigue. At the start of the year, Tim and I decided to basically go vegetarian, figure out, you know, if we could be vegan, just try and eat more consciously. It's not really whether we were going to be one thing or the other or put a label on it, but we were just trying to be more aware and more conscious of what we were eating and how it impacts things like inflammation in the body and it wasn't really a weight thing because I've not lost any weight eating that way at all. I don't know whether I've spoken about this before on my channel, I probably have because it's always been an ongoing issue for me but I suffer with low iron and I always have, my sister always has, my mum always has, we can be anemic at times because your blood cells renew every three months I believe it is. I'm not a doctor, don't quote me on that. Jamie, take an iron supplement and one thing about me, I am not the most consistent person at anything. Doing YouTube for six months was probably the most consistent thing other than being a mother that I've ever done in my life. I really struggle to concentrate and stick to things. My mind just starts 50 other way. We know what's good for us, but do we do it? That's the question. So I don't take an iron supplement. So it's my own fault, really. I've really struggled to even just get out of bed, be vertical. I felt like I was dying because I just couldn't physically do anything. I would sleep every chance I could. So if the baby went to sleep for two hours, I would go to sleep for two hours. It even got to a point where we'd get up of a morning and I'd just go straight to the couch and lay down set Zade up in the lounge room and I would be nodding off on the couch. So I decided to invest in my health. I got new supplements. I got some stronger over-the-counter iron tablets. I got some vitamin B12. I am still taking my vitamin C every day which I stopped doing, which is probably why I got a sinus infection. You know, it's just so important, really, to look after yourself so you can just function normally and feel good. So honestly, I am feeling much better this week and that is really why I haven't been bothered to film. Actually, I've filmed heaps. I have filmed heaps of footage, but the thought of taking the footage, transferring it to my iPad Pro and then editing it and then putting it up. I also wanted to sort of rebrand my channel because it's not really kid focused, it's more focused on me. It's like just dumb things, but honestly, it's just been a minute. It really has. This morning, we are going to my sister-in-law's, Auntie Sarah. She's invited Zaid and I are over for breakfast, which I am stoked about because A, not having to pay restaurant prices and B, not having to cook myself. I'd probably just have wheat bix if I was at home. 
So I thought, well, on the way, I will grab her a coffee from Zarafa's so she can also have a treat. Now, let me get Annie Sarah's order up here because I, she wants something crazy, I don't even know. So yeah, that's that. I hope to see you guys again, but I won't make any promises. <laughs> How good's JB's new album, but I'm stoked, I love it. All right, I'll see you in the next one, have a bye.